Have you ever found yourself in a situation where your pop-up tent just wants to blow away? You could be at a vendor fair, craft fair, you could be even out camping somewhere. And you set up a pop-up tent and the big gust of wind blows and it wants to blow your pop-up tent away. We're gonna build these. And those will help keep your tent from blowing away. All right, this is what we're looking at for hardware for this project. Uh, you're gonna see as I go through and start putting this together, uh, we're gonna do handles on the tube, and then this is the hardware to secure the handle to the tube. This is the handle of choice. Nothing special, just a handle, you know, it's gonna get the job done. As I go through, you're going to see why I ended up choosing uh, what I did. Uh, but basically, this is a 3 inch long, 3 inch, and it's a number 12, 24, let's see, threads per inch. Uh, it's zinc, so it, it will be uh, weather uh, acceptable. Uh, this is going to be for the string, so we have carabiners to hold it. This is going to be the eye hook, and then, uh, oh, I forgot right here. We've got some additional hardware for the eye hooks. Um, so you'll see as I go through how this is gonna all work, but that's generally speaking what you're gonna need for hardware. And then this is just PVC cement to hold the caps to the bottom of the pipe. We're gonna cut this two and a half feet. This is a 10 footer and let's get started. Next up, you're going to want to use some type of saw. Uh, I've got a reciprocating saw. This one is, it's a metal blade, and that's really what you're going to want. You're going to want to, high, want to use a high tooth, uh, TPI, tooth per inch, because uh, when you're dealing with plastic, you want to kind of treat it like metal. So just use a metal blade. This blade is a little bit small for this pipe, so it'll be enough that we can at least get it started and then we'll just cut it all the way around. So do this on uh, every two and a half foot mark that you've made along the pipe. Sometimes the cut's not gonna be perfect, but at the end of the day, that's fine. At this point, you want to match up what drill bit is going to be the right size for your bolt. What I do is I just eyeball with what looks to be the right size. Take the drill bit, your, your bolt, and then just line it up. And you want to see just a little bit of drill bit on both sides of the bolt as you're looking through. So when I look at this, that looks pretty bang on correct. So this one is a quarter inch and it must be close to whatever a number 12 means. So we're gonna use that for our drill. We just kinda need to measure roughly where we wanna put the handle. Pardon the loud cars. We have a lot of derpy people that live in this town. This looks to be pretty good. What do you think, yes or no? Mm -hmm. That looks good. Okay, well, turns out that is... All right, so how about we... Let's do, okay, let's back it up. Do little pilot holes first. 
Now let's just start with two. That's kind of what we're what we're looking at here. Now just do the same thing for the bottom four holes. So that's what we're gonna be looking like here. Alright, so that's the that's the inside of what the tube looks like. So we've got We've got the four bolts going through. Now the idea is right at the top, right where the bolt is coming through, we're gonna thread a nut and it's going to clamp it down against the PVC. Then when we get to the part where we're starting to fill the tube with concrete, then at that point, we're going to add a washer and another nut and it's going to make it so that it really doesn't want to pull out once everything has been hardened and cured. So stay tuned for that, but now we're going to continue. We're going to put the four nuts on the end of each one of these bolts, and then we're going to continue doing what we had just did with these three down here. Once you get all four handles mounted, then it's time to put the rest of the the nuts and the washers onto those four I'm gonna do a set of uh, just one and then show you what it looks like when we're done now that I've got the washer and nut on you can see that on the back side of the washer I have a nut so the whole purpose of that is uh, it, it, it will give it more strength once the concrete that we mix up and pour into these tubes have hardened it's going to want to resist getting pulled out and that's the whole purpose of adding this extra hardware so that's what it looks like when you have all of them done now it doesn't have to look exactly like that you could even take this a step further and like sandwich the washer that's what i had originally had in mind but uh it was an afterthought of probably putting the nuts, uh, securing the bolts to the PVC. So I don't have all the nuts to do this uh, the way that I had originally intended, but this will work. So go ahead and do that on all four. All right, next up, you we're gonna wanna uh, PVC cement the cap onto the tube. At this point, find what end you botched up the worst like this is a good candidate this one not too bad we can smooth that off uh, at the very end this one here this is a good candidate so get this on the outside of of the tube and then you're going to want to do the inside of the cap that way it's going to have enough of the adhesive cement that it's going to hold it in place Honestly, if you were a glue sniffer when you were in elementary school, you would like this. <laughs> what do you think? Do you like the smell? It's not horrible. I think it smells good. The stuff that people put on me at Trucker smell first. That's one done. Do that for all four. And that's what we look like now. Not too bad. All four of them done, and they're all standing up fairly straight. This one here, you can, wow, yeah, that's really crook, crooked on camera. Um, that one will end up just 
smoothing it off with uh, some kind of grinder uh, once once we get the cement poured in there and it has time to cure. So that'll be tomorrow. That's actually where we're off to next. We're going to use the wheelbarrow, some concrete. We're going to get mixing. This is what we're using today. Oh, God. Can I take that doll? Can I take that doll? Oh, there we go. So for this whole project, we're gonna go with two 50 pound bags of this quick creep concrete. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you follow the instructions for how much water goes into the bag. So this is saying it wants 1.9 liters or four pints, which is two quarts of water mixed in with this. So what we're gonna do, pour the concrete into the wheelbarrow, add the water, and then we're gonna mix like crazy. We're doing one bag at a time. One bag should be able to handle two pipes. Good. My driveway needed some concrete right there. <laughs> now you're going to want to mix this stuff thoroughly. Make sure that everything gets a little bit wet. I probably could have used some of that water that I splashed over. Now the, the instructions the instructions do say that you can add a total of five quarts. Five pints. Five pints, sorry. Five pints. Anything more than that, you're gonna have too watery of a mixture and it's not going to end up hardening all that well. Get your washers all the way resting at the bottom and now we just start scooping the stuff in. We need to put that, we need, oh. Something like that. A little bit more water because that will end up kind of working its way down. Not a lot, but just a little bit just to make sure that the concrete has enough content, water content, that the, the eye bolt itself also we want to make sure that it's straight so that the eye bolt itself will have enough to hold on to.
So there we go. We have two made. They're both pretty much full all the way up to the top. And <laughs> we were literally scraping the bottom of the barrel, if you will. So that's two done. Two more to go with the second bag. Let's get to it. So there we have it. This is all four done. Boom, 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 boom. This this fella here, this guy, uh, I think we got a little overzealous with filling the other ones or something. Uh, math didn't quite math up correctly because it's, it's a little bit shorter than the others, but at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. No. So we're going to let these harden. This is a, uh, this is quick. Oh, bags got cleaned up. We're efficient over here. So this is fast setting quick crete. This stuff is going to be pretty solid after 24 hours. So really, we should be able to handle these and they should be able to serve the purpose of what we made them to do within 24 hours. But tomorrow, we're going to smooth down, probably remove some of the excess of the PVC, make it nice and smooth. And um, yeah, that should be it with that. So we'll touch base then. It's going to be 24 hours for us, but it's going to be now for you. So we're here at Tuscan Market. Uh, this is where we have a craft fair. So uh, they have copyrighted music playing. So you're going to enjoy some non-copyrighted music that is safe to play on the internet now. So you may have noticed in the video, I had already said that we're gonna clean up around down here uh, at the very top. I haven't cleaned these up yet. Ran out of time, just needed to get them done. So they haven't been cleaned up. There's still quite a, a bit of room for, uh, for me to remove. So the idea is to take this down a little bit and I'm gonna end up doing that eventually, but I think for the purpose of today's video, we accomplished the goal and I showed you what you need to do in order to make these weights to help keep your pop-up tent from wanting to blow away. So with that said, I hope you found this video informative, helpful. Should you have any questions, leave it in the comments down below and stay tuned for the next DIY video. <clears throat> All aboard the struggle bus.